you know, we've never had a sitting president try to overthrow the government so that he could stay in power. And we've certainly never had one who, when investigated for that, basically wields power as though he were still president and as though he is accountable to no one. You know, unless he is held accountable, our democracy is in grave danger because so, so he based can get away on with what this anyway. Yeah, let me just let me just point out. So based on what we know now, Professor Tribe, do you believe the U.S. Justice Department will try to bring an indictment against the former president related to these events of January 6th? Well, I wish I knew, but Merrick Garland is a friend and a former student of mine. He's an honest man. He's serious. He said he'd go to the top if that's where the evidence points, and that's certainly where it's pointing now. And there's indication, certainly from the searches and seizures of, of both John Eastman and of, and of others, uh, strong evidence that the Justice Department is not stopping with the foot soldiers. It's going to the generals. And the biggest general of all, of course, is Donald Trump. I do yes. think the odds are he will be indicted. And you, so you think Merrick Garland, the Attorney General of the United States, will indict the former president of the United States? If I had to guess, that would be my guess. What are the main hurdles right now, Professor Tribe, uh, to pursuing an actual indictment of Trump? If you were making a case against the former president, where would you be concerned? Well, I would be concerned, of course, with the possibility of a hung jury, someone who basically believes with Trump that he can do no wrong. But I would think that it would be worth having an indictment anyway. I certainly recognize that indicting a former president would generate lots of social heat perhaps violence, but not indicting him would invite another violent insurrection. I would be weighing two terrible choices, but it's clear to me, if I were the attorney general, which is worse, it is worse to say that a president of the United States can hold on to power, do whatever it takes in order to prevent the transition, the peaceful transition of power for the first time in our history and get away with it. Because once that has happened, democracy is at an end.